This is Lesson 9, Assignment 3. We'll be using Adobe Illustrator's image trace function to create vector artwork from raster images. Uh, you should have downloaded each of the images uh, from the assignment folder. The, uh, I put mine out on a folder on my desktop. So that'd be easy to find. So you should have the flourish, the pointing hand, stomping the robot, and the owl, and this L9A3 image trace template. Uh, you can just double click there. You can open it in Illustrator. And we'll begin by placing each of the raster images onto this template in each of these quadrants using file place. So inside my folder here I see my Stompy the Robot. I'll place him. And you can either just click and it'll put him out here. Uh, I think I've resized them to where they'll just fit within these. If not, you can always click and drag and uh, place the image in exact size. So we'll do the next. We'll place the owl. And I'll do that. I'll I'll click and drag, and it'll place it within that frame. Again, I'll do file place. I'll do the pointy can. And fill that frame. And finally, place the little flourish. Kind of centering mine in the box, they don't have to be. All right, uh, in the instructions, it, it tells you the uh, on Blackboard each of the things you're going to use to create this uh, artwork into vector. Remember, if you zoom in here, you'll be able to see that this is rasterized, we've got lots of pixels, and in the end, we'll have vector really nice, straight lines, easy to. Uh, manipulate and use uh, for various projects. So, um, for Stompy the Robot, let's open our Properties panel. For for the robot, we're going to use the Image Trace button, this little quick action down here. So select Stompy, and you're going to use the black and white logo preset. So I'm going to hit this and say black and white logo. And you'll watch it. It draws that. Now, again, you zoom in. We've seen that it's changed from raster to vector. Okay. Um, and the reason we use the black and white preset is we want these. We want it to draw all of the artwork. The artwork is uh, black and white. So it, it drew the black and converted it into vector as well as the white. If we did something, say the uh, sketch start, it would only draw the black and the, the white would be gone. But we want this because we're gonna, we're gonna color Stompy the robot. The next thing you have to do is click expand. That draws the shapes. Again, so let me, let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see when we hit expand, it's going to draw all the individual paths around all of the shapes. Then you'll go up to Object, Ungroup, so that they all become individual shapes. Now we can move them, delete them, color them, uh, whatever we want. So I'm going to click off, and then I'm just going to click the white background, and I'm going to hit Delete and throw that away. That just leaves Stompy out there all by himself. So now uh, I can open up my swatches palette and I can choose. Uh, you're just going to take this. You're going to use uh, the color palette to just make uh, Stompy whatever color you want him to be. So once you click something, you can add color to it. Uh, you, know, you can shift click multiple objects and add color however you want. So you're going to add some color to Stompy. All right. Then on the owl graphic, you're going to use the 
six color preset. There's actually not six colors, but we need to we need to draw this with six colors. It's about five colors, and we could uh, use that and you know change it. But six colors will work. So uh, I'm going to click it. It's going to give me the image trace option. I'm going to use six colors. You'll see that it'll go through. And it's going to draw all those individual colors into shapes. All right. Again, we're going to expand it so that it draws all the lines. And then we're going to object ungroup it. I'm going to click off of it and then back. And I'm going to click the white on the outside and throw it away. And then I'm going to click these colors and I'm going to change the color of my uh, owl to something totally different okay i don't care how you color it that's up to you all right um this this uh hand graphic is just something that uh, i had on an old cd it was uh, some clip art but it was uh raster uh we can easily make it again into vector by Clicking it, going back, hitting the image trace. And this time, we are going to use the sketched art preset. That way, it'll throw away everything except the black. We're going to expand it. And really, that's it. That's all we have to do with this one. Uh, if you want, you know, you could click it. Uh, I would hesitate to ungroup it because there's a whole bunch of different little dots. But if you say you wanted, you know, a nice purple hand to be able to put into one of your artwork or, uh, you know, point to something, yeah. that's fine. And then the flourish graphic, we will use the sketched art preset again because we don't want the white background. So we're going to use image trace, sketched art, and you can, you can walk through these and see what they look like, you know, when you do them, it, it doesn't, uh, really uh, affect it too much uh, as you look through, but uh, you can always undo it. So uh, these aren't done until you say expand. So I could say, oh, I want to do silhouettes or, oh, I want to do sketch start. I like the sketch start, I'm going to hit expand. And there again, we're going to ungroup this. Now, there is one other option that you don't have to totally ungroup this. You can use instead of the selection, you can use the direct selection tool and it will allow you to select individual parts of the path without ungrouping it. So you'll find that some of these are grouped together because they touch each other when they were rasterized. As you can see, you know, uh, if, if I didn't want all that together, I would have to go in there. This would be another one of those times where you could use something you've already learned. You could take this shape. You could draw a line here. You could take these two. And you could use your Pathfinder to divide it. And then it becomes a separate shape that you could color whatever you want. Oops, <laughs> I say that. I'm not doing it correctly. Oh, on the wrong one. Direct select, then I could do that. So, uh, now you've got all kinds of options. So, once you've done that, you've done all four, you've colored them, uh, you'll just save this off as a PDF with your name underscore image trace as a PDF portable document format file. Uh, not the Adobe Illustrator. Uh, yeah, so uh, save as, again, PDF. And again, if you want to, if you'll uh, save view after saving, you'll be able to see that file when you're done. Okay. Reach out if you have questions.